Okay, geometry, chapter five, section six, inequalities in two triangles. Okay, uh, in the last section we talked about uh, the triangle inequality, and before that we had the inequality in one triangle. So now we're going to put the two together and compare two different types of, of triangles. So we're going to start off with what's called the hinge theorem. Okay. Here's what the hinge theorem says. And think of it like the hinge on a gate. If I have <clears throat> corresponding sides that are congruent, and I'll draw these in yellow, it's telling me that this side is congruent to this side. It's also telling me, and I'll draw this one in green, that this side is congruent to this side. But I see that that angle in between them is not the same. That tells me something about the opposite sides of those triangles. And so let's say this was A, B, C. And this is D, E, F. Based on what we have learned so far, tell me the relationship between B, C, and EF. Based upon the hinge theorem, because BC is opposite the bigger angle, that means that BC is going to be greater than EF. Okay, so if you have corresponding sides that are connected, it's a, it's like a it's almost like a side angle side, but the angles are not congruent to each other, which means the BC has to be greater than EF. Okay, so with the hinge theorem, there's also a converse of the hinge theorem. So take a second and go ahead and copy this down real quick, and then we'll talk about it. Now, again, go by what it actually looks like. Some of you are looking at GI and JL and saying there's no way that that's 8 and that's 12. Um, just look at the representation and, talk, and let's discuss things we can prove. So in the hinge theorem, we proved that the opposite side was bigger. In this case, we know the sides. So what we're going to be talking about is the relationship of the opposite angles from the sides. And so I'm going to go ahead and just label that angle H and then label this one angle K. And due to the hinge theorem, because K is opposite the greater number, that means that angle H, well, I'm doing less than or equal to, so I'm going to do my little arcs here so I don't get confused when I put my sign here. Um, angle H has to be less than angle K. Again, I just put the little arcs on there so we didn't get the angle sign confused with the less than sign. Um, if you want to make a little old school box, that's kind of what we did back in elementary school, the box, that would help a little bit. Okay, so that's the converse of the hinge theorem. Okay, so let's look at an actual example, something you might see in the work tonight. Okay, so I've got triangle ABC, and I've got triangle DEF, and so... I want to find the relationship of angle B, A, C in relationship to angle, or in relation to angle E, D, F. Okay. And so this is basically from our first triangle inequality, talking about sides. And so we know that because angle BAC is opposite the bigger side, that it has to be greater than. Again, you can put that in a box, however you want to signify that. Okay? So pretty short lesson, about five minutes. That is 5-6 inequalities in two triangles.